BD5. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of white in that game. Both white and black missed some chances in the opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. e6 sets up the d7 d5 pawn push and creates openings for the bishop on the dark squares. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. It is the final book action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. This strikes the opponent's bishop. That's good. This leads to losing a bishop. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to win a bishop. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a miss. This is the wrong piece to capture with and leads to a loss of material compared with the correct choice. It is a miss. This wins material. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity giving it greater scope. It is quite good. This exposes a pawn attack. It is quite good. Backs off. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. A bishop is pinned as a result, which limits its mobility. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. This wins a pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of white in that game. Both white and black missed some chances in the opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. This is the way to win a rook. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of white in that game. Both white and black missed some chances in the opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. 